Welcome to the seventh annual Aggie Hirschberg Symposium. Before when you have pancreatic cancer, you basically say goodbye and you'll be done in three to six months. Right now we are prolonging life because the surgical procedure have improved, early diagnosis have improved, and through the Hirschberg Foundation, we actually have a support uh, structure to help some of these people to go through the disease. We'll start our meeting to hear five of the outstanding pilot feasibility grant that was awarded by the Hirschberg Foundation, tracer-based metabolomic uh, workshop, a patient support group which really are the key people that support our foundation. James Farrell, MD, Division of Digestive Diseases, UCLA. Christina Kishpavi, Department of Medicine, UCLA. Larry Karnitz, PhD, Division of Oncology Research, Mayo Clinic. Laszlo Boros, MD, UCLA School of Medicine. Ima, MD, PhD, MD Anderson Cancer Center. Guido Heibel, Department of Surgery, UCLA. Howard Reber, MD, Department of Surgery, David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. Over the last seven years, we really have accomplished a lot. The foundation itself has been instrumental in educating or advocating it so that more people are aware of pancreatic cancer. We didn't know about smoking. We did not know about diabetes. We did not know about obesity. We did not know about uh, foods we eat. Currently, there are 400 million obese people in the world. And the prediction is that within four years, 2015, there's going to be 700 million. So obesity certainly is one of the recognized risk factors, epidemiologic risk factors, of developing pancreatic cancer. The tools that we have to diagnose pancreatic cancer in the initial stages, CA19-9, some radiology imaging studies, and then endoscopic imaging with ERCP and endoscopic ultrasound. In order to be able to resect one of these tumors, the tumor has to be localized. And as you might imagine, the different operations are different because the tumor can occur, does occur, in different parts of the pancreas. The uniqueness of the Hirschberg Foundation is that one, they have a very successful seed program. Second, it also has provided a patient support structure. My name is Charlotte Ray, and I am a pancreatic cancer survivor. Thank you, God. I lost my father to pancreatic cancer in 1997. After my dad passed, it became what I was going through. It's inoperable. But I continue to do all my daily activities like running, hiking, biking, and... But the more people that know about it, sure, I think that um, there's going to be more attention paid to it. It is us that know what this cancer is about. It is us that know it firsthand. We came a long way for the last seven years. And I hope in seven years from now, we will have a prevention strategy. My message is simply, pancreatic cancer is relentless, but so are we, fortunately.